My name is Greg. I uh, came from Texas. I've been in Texas for about nine and a half years. I'm originally from New York and I've traveled around quite a bit. I worked with the military and then in private contracting for many years. Um, my drug of choice was pretty much everything. <laughs> I don't think there's something out there that I didn't try, um, which is a testament to how badly I was willing to not feel what I was going through. The pain of existence that I had experienced was a living hell. Um, I don't, I, I just totally lost sight of who I was. I was dead inside. I was a shell. I had some pretty rough experiences uh, as I was phasing out of the military and going into the civilian side of things. My brother had been deployed to Iraq. He was a medevac pilot flying uh, rescue missions and the night of the ceasefire he was shot down. That was a catalyst for me um, to focus my anger. It gave me something to be angry about. Now I had a, a reason for doing what I was doing um, and it made it a lot easier for me to be able to justify that. So that carried on for a while. I, uh, I really went down a pretty dark road after that funeral and six months later my father passed away. So immediately my two major male figures in my life, my two role models were gone. Um, and there was nothing I could have done or want, you know, there's no way I could have changed those circumstances, but I was angry that I could. There was, there was so much anger and hate and loss and pain and, and all these feelings I did not want to feel, which kept me using everything I could possibly use throughout the next 26 years of my life. Um, I went through pill addiction, I went through heroin addiction, I went through a cocaine addiction, crack addiction. And uh, I mean everything across the board uh, up until you know I came across methamphetamines. Um, I started shooting methamphetamines for it was a quick spiral. It didn't last very long. It was probably about six months. But I was you know slowly trying to kill myself, and that progressed. And the the emptier I became, and the more. Uh, disconnected from society I became. I was okay with that. I was living, it was like I was a living corpse, pretty much. I had no feeling. I had no thoughts of my own. I was completely obsessed every waking moment of just getting more and more drugs into my system as quickly as I could. And uh, it came to a point where there was a chain of events that led to me seeking treatment. Um, so with that being said, I got to a point where I started picking up the phone and making phone calls, and I probably called at least 100 places, maybe more, in the Houston area. That's where I was living at the time. And could not connect to anybody. It, it, it was, I, I, I thought, I saw it as a sign. To just continue doing the things I was doing. While, you know, half-assed, seeking treatment, you know, to please the court. So one day my mother calls, she was the only person in my life that has stuck by me through thick and thin, my rock, who I love very much. Um, she gave me a phone number for a place that was in South Houston, which was maybe 30 minutes from where I lived at the moment. So I called it, and I called it, and I called that number, and I called that number for three days, it was busy. So I Googled it, I Googled the name of the place, and uh, there was a 186, uh, 866 number that was just underneath the name of the place I was trying to call with the other number that I was dialing. So I, I dialed the number and a woman answered, I was surprised. So we start talking and she's telling me about this program, you know, um, about the holistic side and it's a spiritual connections and 
All these things that I felt I really needed, that I wanted, that I could not find on my own, I did not know how. And uh, two days later, I got on that plane and I came to Palm Partners. Um, I've been to several treatment facilities. I had spent 15 months in a therapeutic community um, and returned to it for 11 months. Those were all off of parole violations. Um, Palm Partners was a place, the, the minute my feet hit the ground on the property, I felt a sense of relief. Something just came over me where I felt safe. Um, I immediately knew this is where I need to be. Um, the staff was amazing from right from the get-go, from the time I was picked up at the airport to the time I you know, got back onto into detox. I mean, it's, it, everybody was so caring and so um, accommodating. It made me feel like somebody. It, it gave me a sense of, hey, I'm not just a spot on the wall. Um, and that was the beginning of my journey here. I came here uh, intending to stay for 90 days. And I have, I finally completed that. And I, I, f I feel a great sense of accomplishment. I'm leaving a completely different person than the way I walked in that door. I was broken, shattered, empty. Everything I said previous to this, dead. You know, I, I just had no reason to even care if I lived or died. But that slowly changed. Um, and today, I can see where uh, I would want to help other people and I do want to help other people get through this because this program offers every af facet of getting better that you could possibly imagine. Um, from the yoga classes, from all the uh, information that's given to us, the way they break down the human brain and how it works. and. and all of these different things, I, it's not just one thing, it was everything that made the difference. There's something for everybody here. You can tailor make your experience here to be whatever you want it to be and get out of it whatever you want to get out of it. Um, I have never experienced anything like this in any other program that I've ever been to, heard of, read about, and it's it's. It's uniquely unique. Um, <laughs> it's, it's an amazing place. It saved my life. If you or someone you know is struggling, call 888-508-7072 now. That's 888-508-7072.